And one of the things I gain inspiration from is the ways that we perceive processes in the natural world all around us. In many ways, the works in this show deal with the way that we try to emulate some of those processes, the ways that we try to get closer to nature and learn more from what we observed. The caloric works, um, for me, are a way of looking at the body and the idea of ourselves and our identity and how we view ourselves uh, through action as opposed to through the aesthetic. For me, the process of depicting a numeric amount of energy has to come from energy. There's a performative act to the work in the action of stamping the calories into the metal. There is another level of performative action in the application of silver nitrate onto the surface of the large canvases and prints. The marble in Prologue comes from a mountain in Danby, Vermont, in a way. You could see it as almost a billboard or signage. I was very interested in the idea of that strata that's visually evident in the marble, kind of compression of landscape. On one plane, there's an image of, created by the marble. And on the other side is a silver nitrate coated surface that's reflective and creates a plane 10 feet in the air and above the viewer's head that reflects a place that they can't access. But I'd like it to be a place they could imagine themselves being in a space that's all in their mind. I'm interested in the different approaches, disciplines, or methods of arriving at a final artwork. Many of my works are at the intersections of a lot of common themes in the work, from the idea of the, the openness of human experience and the subjectivity involved with choice, the languages that might be considered authoritative, the things that tell us who we are and what we should be versus the things we want to be. It's important for me in the studio to again begin the process where the parameters are set out so that it can evolve with my guidance. On the other hand, when the work leaves the studio, the visual or the physical presence of the work might be an entrance for the viewer and begin a process of unraveling. The viewer might get to the core of the work or possibly go beyond it. Hopefully it opens up passages of thought and that there are, again, signposts along the way that lead you towards perhaps not my intent, but that leads you towards my process and therefore brings you closer to the studio and closer to the making and closer to the artist.